Now I'm going to combine a circular shape with a rectangle shape in order to make a Gothic mat. And of course, this is beautiful for wedding photographs, but also for other kinds of uses as well. Now in this case, I measured my board, and you can see that I'm up here at the top because I want to connect it with a straight cut. So I need to cut a circle out of this area here. And I've got my lines marked off, and I just used a pencil and a small T-square, but you can use mat cutters or other kinds of rulers in order to get this measurement. But just make sure you're in the middle where you want it to be. I want a circle instead of an oval, so I'm going to set this side over here at five inches, because I want a five inch circle. So I'm at five, I'm gonna lock that in position. And remember, if you want four and three quarters instead of five, that you wanna set that accurate, because it's an accurate cut. Now at this top, I'm gonna unscrew that, and because this is a circle, there isn't any difference in the cut, so I put it right to the very end and tighten it, because there is no difference, it's five by five instead of being six by nine, as the other one was. Now I'm going to put this in on my slip sheet. You need this slip sheet sort of help you turn around a bit. Get your lines marked up again, or lined up again here. Get those little marks in position. It helps to be on a uh, table that you can see down on so that you can get in position correctly. If the table's up too high, then you're not gonna be able to see where your marks are. Give this a good push in here, because the push is important. You're getting those little pins in place. Make sure your cutter is set so that the blades are not, the blade is not into the map board yet, okay? You can start at two o'clock over here, and start to go around. Now go into your first gear. You're starting to make your scratch on the board. You can see where you are. Now go into the second gear. You're cutting your first bit of board. Keep your thumb in position. Make sure you keep those little pins in the board. That Sometimes you let go of that and then you'll lose your place. Now you're in third gear and we're cutting right through the board. Okay, and there is our circle. Now we're gonna connect this with a rectangular cut and we'll have a gothic mat. Hang on while I bring in the other mat cutter. We've got the intermediate 401 in place on the table. Now I've got my mat. I'm going to take this circle and put it back in. The reason you need to do that is because we're going to cut another mat. You're going to see why. Just put it in with a removable tape. This tape won't hurt the surface. And you can put it on that side or you can put it on this side if, it, if you feel better about it putting it here. You can do it there as well. Now I do have to connect this line because I'm going to need to pay attention to my stop and start lines on here depending on which mat cutter you're using. So a pencil line. Now I've got mine real strong. You don't have to make your pencil lines that strong. We're gonna put this in face down in the cutter. I've got my slip sheet here. I've got my mat guide set for two inches because I'm gonna cut these three side cuts. Put my mat cutter on. Line up the little line there. We're all familiar with our little silver marking and stop down at the bottom, lift up the head. Now three sides are gonna have the two inches, but the top one, depending on where you want the cut to come in on your circle, for your design, I've got mine coming in at exactly half. Okay, all right, I'm gonna slide there a little bit, but just gotta hold it still. Now I've got this four inch cut to make. I'm going to just take the mat guide off and set this in. I've got my pencil marks there. Still got my slip sheet in. Always use a slip sheet. Set this in place. Get your pencil mark lined up. Come straight across. Lift it up. Now bring this around here. And now we've got the perfect gothic mat.